This is the standing stones of Stennis, uh, the remains of a 5,000 year old stone set. This is a henge monument here. And that means? It means that there's a ditch and then there's a stone or a wooden structure in the centre. Um, so this is a henge monument, a stone henge. This is about a thousand years, 900 to a thousand years older than Stonehenge. Can you hear the echo? And what causes the echo? We think it's coming up back off the stones. Uh -huh. So maybe when all the stones were here and all in place, the acoustics might have been fantastic. Yeah. So they haven't excavated this whole thing? Oh, no, only about 13%. Oh, interesting. So far. And so this was above ground, obviously, then, but now it's underground. That's yeah. The tires coming. Yeah. Because when the... It's, it's a kind of a mystery to us, what, what happened at Nessa Brodga, because the people seem to leave, they seem to have a closing of the site. Um, because before they left, they had a huge, maybe a feast, but they found animal bones, the cow bones, hundreds of cows that must have all been slaughtered about the same time. And the bones then have been placed around the building that they call the temple or the cathedral. Gar is simply named after the farm that was in the area. Uh, Brodger means the bridge farm. And the ring here is on Brodger, the bridge farm, the ring of Brodger. I see. So it's a bit like we're on the bottom of a basin. So anybody approaching from any direction, this is what they see. And the only way to approach is across the water or the two narrow strips of land from either side of the ring. So here we are at the Ring of Bradga. It's our first stop on the Neolithic Orkney sites. So we're going to see three of them today. And I'm here with Lorna, who owns Sea Orkney Tours. Yep. Um, and she's from Westry Island, which is another of the Orkney Islands. Um, but, um, and she's from a farming community out there. And now she's a guide specialist here on Orkney. But she was telling me a, a fun story about this circle of stones. Yeah, the stone circle here um, in folklore, they are not stones, they are all giants. And we have a single standing stone back along the road. Let's see. Called the Comet Stone. That one down there? Stone okay. There. Yeah, that's the fiddle player. And these giants here are all dancing in a circle. Ah, I love and that. And they're having a fantastic party. <laughs> the fiddle player keeps playing, the giants keep dancing, and the party goes on all night. It's a fantastic party. But as we all know, giants have to be in sun bed before sunrise. But the party was so good, he kept playing, they kept dancing, nobody noticed that the sun was rising and the sun rose and turned them all to stone. Ah. That's why we have a stone circle. And this is Scale Loch here and right across on the other side of Scale Loch you can see Scale House. Scottish delicacy. Uh, it's chocolate. Anything to it, yeah, it's chocolate on the outside. There's a bit of um, a slight marshmallow on the inside, and a little bit of biscuit on the bottom. Mm. And once you've start, you'll be addicted. It's like now. a s'more. Oh, is it? Okay. It's like the ocean. And if you can imagine, five thousand years ago, the two points of land here were joined together. Oh. So this would have all been land, and the sea was much further out. Okay. Uh, this has been eaten back, not so slowly, but. So this is a tunnel that connects. Yeah, this is one of the passageways that would link the houses together. No. So here we are at Scabray, and it is a Neolithic village that was discovered in 1850 by the gentleman who owned that big country house up there. And history goes that after a rainstorm, he was walking on the beach and saw the remains of this stone building popping up from the sand as it was washed as the sand was washing away with the tide in the storm and he started digging in he ended up discovering this village that goes actually back to 3300 bc um and it's actually the oldest part are over there house number seven is one that's recreate recreated for the museum it's right there um and that's the oldest part of the village Amazing. Right here on the sea, looking out on the Atlantic. OK, 
Okay, so why do you think that May's Howe is a crypt or a burial place as opposed to a home? Well, I think the first thing is I wouldn't like to live in there for a start. There's no signs of any hearth or any burning and similar structures to not only Orkney but the mainland of Europe where remains have been found uh, show similar structures, so possibly similar burial sites and ceremonies. Uh. However, nothing written, nothing recorded, all very difficult to prove. Over to you. Ha. And that's me's how.